Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidukai and in this video I show you how you could use or how you can use the sampler as a modulation source. Um, this is a very spontaneous video without scripting and anything, so I just wanted to show you. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription for that. You may keep the bell, but let's get started. So I prepared a polysynth that is nothing really special. I turned on some unison. I um, turned up the attack a little bit and turned down the velocity, I think so. And right now it sounds like that. <laughs> and I um, turned on the a little more release. So what I did right now is I put in front of the polysynth a sampler. And um, if you put in, in Bitwig in the device chain two instruments, uh, the, only the la you only will hear the last instrument because uh, normally the, um, not, all, not all instruments has a, have a audio input. So um, the last instrument get the MIDI input and you will only hear this audio, the audio from the previous one you won't hear. So what I did right now, I put in here a sample in the sampler, changed the sampler to textures mode, put it on freeze, put on some more velocity and on the, as I said, on the polysynth, I turned down the velocity and right now it sounds like this. Nothing special, but if I hit the keys a little bit harder, So what I did here um, was I put in the sure you saw it, the sampler in textures mode, then I freeze that over here, and then I use the random modulator to modulate the speed knob or the position head knob um, for the sampler. So and let it on poly so that every new key got a new playhead in the sampler. And then I added in my polysynth here an envelope follower. Oh, sorry. And with this envelope follower, uh, may, maybe I, on oh, this unison is okay. Um, then I modulated the filter cutoff and the resonance of the filter. And I adjusted the input gain of the envelope uh, follower so that I get the um, needed input from the sampler so that it can react. And then I tweaked the rise and the fall of the envelope follower a little bit so that it reacts more slowly or faster. And yeah, you can tweak it a little bit. So right now, what you see, This is when I hit the keys harder and then um, you will hear the, um, the sampler more because it um, produces a higher gain, a louder gain, louder sound. That's why you tweak this here, the gain. You can tweak as well the grain and motion knobs over here. You get different results. This is more like noisy. If I go down over here. Yeah. 
smooth it a, or do it a little bit less smooth. And the same you can do with uh, like a riser kind of or uh, inverted riser. And I keep just pressing notes, like playing a little bit, but it, it, at the end you could just uh, press one note and just hold it and it will do um, all the time different things. And um, you notice already I um, use the delay plus as well so that it sounds a little bit more spacey. And you can do it with uh, voices you put in the sampler, everything. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so you saw what you can do with the sampler or maybe other devices, but the sampler is really cool because of the textures function. Textures, it sounded like Texas function. <laughs> the Texas function of the sampler, new function from Bitwig. Um, howdy. Uh, so yeah, um, I hope you liked that uh, video and you have some more ideas what you can do with just combining two instruments and using one as a, as a modulation source because sampler is just one way of using a sound. You could use uh, noise as well, for example, but maybe noise is not that interesting. Maybe if you only want to have like subtle changes, but here you can throw every, every um, WAV file in there and use it as a modulation source with a random or LFO or whatever you think like. So, okay, if you like, uh, keep, keep seeing these videos. Um, so like this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, my name is Odo Sendai Thanks for watching and paying attention. If you have any other questions or feedback, just let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.